Hello everybody, this is Bones here. Today we're going to be playing a uh, very interesting game from the look of it called Bad Day. Now I have not, uh, I tried to go in blind on ones that I'm doing a clean let's play of because I like the not knowing what's going on with them frankly. So we're going to do that. I want to make sure that I have my phone set to silent because I don't want any nonsense going on while I'm doing this. Alright, and it says all this happened in a moment. The deadly virus broke free. When everybody around turned into bloodthirsty monsters and only four strangers managed to survive, and now they had to struggle with dangerous things to survive. Bad day. Let's go. So, first we're going to read the instructions. Wazda. First aid has a hot key. Exchange weapon has a hot key. We shoot with left mouse button. Okay, so we can break the door, open a box, enter exit a building. So it looks like E is our every key. Uh, house on wheels. Any spacious vehicles needed? Um, so I get to pick my character. <laughs> I like that there are descriptions here. This is funny. <clears throat> I've never held anything heavier than a pen or a uh, paper sheet in my hands. Anyways, I am attentive and smart and also have a college degree. Uh, it looks like they uh, have translated this. This is not originally in English. It didn't give me a language selection, but kudos to them for trying their best on this. Um, I didn't study well at school, but had excellent marks and physical training lessons. By the way, I have never had a girlfriend. I like that that's a tidbit they put in. I was a housewife, but now I'm divorced. I'm engaged in Yoga, I also love baking pies. There is a time when I worked at the police department, I smoke and I love fishing. I easily handle any weapon. I feel like if food is going to be a factor, he would be good. Smoking, they might mean he's slower. Uh, he's not the brains, but he's the brawn. <sighs> Dude, I don't know. I feel like this is our everyman right here is meant to be a mix of these two. Uh, but I feel like this is our jack of all trades, so we're gonna go with him. The gloomy village from which strange sounds are emanating. Oh, okay. Well, first off, let's just say this is uh, interesting. I like that. Okay, it takes a little time to search some. So I like the aiming strategy. We got a simple graphic uh, set up here, but uh, I don't know, if you're like me and the gameplay is good, the graphics aren't as important as the gameplay. And I like retro graphics, frankly. I grew up in the Nintendo era, so I'm fine with that. So let's see if we can break into this in a little bit here. We get, all right, we got in there. I'm in, there's nothing. Oh, shit. Uh, it's a shame I can't, like, they don't do an interior. Maybe that's something the devs will consider doing, because I would like that, to see what... I'm going in. For now, I feel like we are uh, uh, just. Oh shit! There's a thing in there. We're not gonna waste a shot on that. We're gonna call that a loss. I'm trying to conserve my ammo because I do believe I did read that ammo is not everywhere. So, we're going to hide from this thing. What in the holy fuck? So, we got zombies. We got creatures from the pit. Just going to let them pass. Do they know I'm in there? I don't know. I feel like they do. Let's turn this up a little, shall we? I feel like they do know I'm in there, but for now, at least... Uh... When he leaves the screen, we're going to come out to cap him, because I just want to test something. Alright. We're going to test how the zombies sense you. How well they can sense you is it? See, they seem like they have a short line of sight. Oh, shit. That one is not playing. Well, they don't take a lot to kill, at least. So I appreciate that, I do. 
Um, this looks like a good spot to hole up for a minute. If I can get in there, I can't get in there. Shit. I overestimated my safety by a lot. Oh my god, I'm about to get my ass handed to me. Yeah, Stan didn't survive at all. Aww. So you get a little. Well, that sucks. Poor Stan. It was not his day, was it? Fuck off, Cthulhu. Alright. Things you don't think you'll say in a day. The door is relocked. Can I reloot it? Looks like I can. I am not the smarts, but I am strongs, so maybe I will find better things in here. Only garbage there. That's life, baby. That's life. So we don't want to go near these toxic pools. Clearly, nothing but creeping death waits for me there. Um, we're also going to try and be a little sneaky around zombies, shall we? Is there a sneak key? There's not a sneak key. I don't even know what the hell a sneak key would be, but I'm just looking. Uh, earlier I did not go in this one, so we're going to go in here. Mold is everywhere. Eh. Who wants mold, really? You can all fuck off, you're not kidding me. So basically, this is a duck and cover um, survival game that uses some stealth. Med kits don't heal a lot either, so I need to be careful of that, apparently. He ain't leaving, so I had to cap him. He was fast. I feel like that is a little nod to Jason Voorhees, so I think he's going to be trouble. Um, I mean, he's got the pitchfork, he's got the hockey mask, he looks like Jason. That's almost assuredly a, a nod to Jason. Which, let's pay a, a moment of silence there to the sad fate of the Friday the 13th game, as I've told you all before, the developers have had uh, some trouble in the past, both with fans and with each other. Um, an internal struggle, I guess, between some guy trying to sell Savini codes, a lot of other stuff that they've been battling with, and then unfortunately all this nonsense with uh, the Victor Miller slash Sean Cunningham lawsuit has finally taken its toll on them. And uh, they cannot really progress the game anymore. Jasper, no! Let's try the lady. She's a lady! Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's a lady! Alright. Aha, you missed me, Cthulhu Tentacle Doom. That could be a game name, eh? Um, now there was a first aid kit in here. Is there still a first aid kit in here if I go in? Is it the same each time? No, okay. So the loot is randomized. I like that. Um, the controls are pretty easy on this. Difficulty seems to be a little high, but I suppose it's a zombie apocalypse. It's not supposed to be easy. Um, I myself would like not hand holding, but I would certainly like a little more to work with, I think, in this. Um, one thing that I feel like I should be doing is making sure that I am opening and closing every door I can, since you can reuse them as hiding spots. I feel like that's a strategy that we need to be doing. Okay, so she seems to take a few more uh, sometimes to kill these dudes. But we're keeping her at a friendly distance to do that. Also, I figured zombie types were reliant on speed, but actually no, it seems like this isn't so much speed reliant, it's just... God. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to survive in these conditions. Uh, especially since I have literally ran out of 
Yeah. Only the brains left. Now he's had his pepper. Never held a pepper, pepper, in his life. Or anything heavier than a pepper, brother. So now we gotta go and try and get this guy to survive. This is not looking good. I think we're gonna do two rounds of this. See how we do, guys. Um, I am curious, frankly, to see how it goes. We're, we're icing him and just going down the bottom of the stream. I think I got my strategy here. And it's a coward's strategy. I'm being honest. But I don't really care. Um, what I'm going to do is let these zombies flood this side of the screen if I can. Only dead rat. Not even a good rat, just dead rat. Not an eating rat, not a live rat, just a dead rat. That's not a good rat. It's not a rat we want. Okay, so the zombies can't enter the buildings. So when the zombie flood happens, it seems like my only recourse really is to hide. And let them leave. Because now they're all coming. So that's what I'm going to do. Is see what happens if I just give this a minute and hide. Do I up my survival that much? Is this what I've been doing wrong the whole time? Uh, I remember now one of the bullet points did say hide in cabins or hide. Basically it alluded to hiding. I mean, look at all of these dudes. Do they end? Do they ever end? That's the other bad thing. Um... So, devs, you might want to adjust your zombie spawning slightly and just crank it down a wee bit. I feel like that's excessive for uh, the map itself, as it were. And that may just be me, that may just be me, but I feel like it's excessive. If I were to be a new gamer in this game and I thought of buying it, that would be enough to stop me from buying the game. Just because I feel like that is a way too many zombies uh, out of the blue. See again, I'm just fucked before I began here guys. Uh, so yeah. Not trying to bitch unnecessarily here, just observations. I seem to have found a place here we're going to go to and hide out again. But uh, you all see my point, I think, is that it's it's just a lot of zombie, man. A lot of zombie. And I feel like it's too much zombie. Too much zombie, not enough, uh, not a lot of ammo, a lot of zombie. Uh, if there was a way to turn the difficulty down, this would be the point where I'd use it. And you guys know me, I play games on normal. Normally. But this is a lot of zombies. Uh, now, I like the graphics. I like the art. I like the ease of control. I'd even like it to be, uh, you could shoot from, like, there out. You know what I mean? Would be good. Um, how do they tell me to switch weapons again? Frank didn't survive. We're gonna go back to the title screen. Nobody is alive. Uh, I wanna see again how to change weapon. That's space. Okay, so. So we can also do rapid fire shooting with ease. So we're going to 
try the, the copper again. Okay, just making sure my weapon select is on. And what I'm doing is going down the line here. We're going to do more hiding this time, guys. Let's be strategic. Very strong stink. Sounds like my old workplace. I swear to you all, I uh, don't want to say which... <laughs> I almost said it. Which uh, drug store I used to work at, but good god, that back room nobody ever cleaned. Until finally, uh, I was the new person I cleaned it. Because it was just awful. Alright, and I feel like even though I could take these guys... Oh, so you can't switch weapons indoors. Interesting dynamic. Don't much care for it. Would like to be able to do that as well. And again, I don't mean to bitch about this game. You guys know me. Normally I am... Probably one of the most complimentary Let's Players out there. I think I am. Uh, I try to see the good in games, especially games that are smaller in indie uh, games or smaller team development because I know they don't have the resources and I at one point actually did program and let me tell you it is a pain in the ass. It's not a fun endeavor and you can't get everything you want done so it's I sympathize with uh, programmers to do that. Now this was one of the first big floods of zombies if I remember. So we're gonna wait this out. A zombie storm. Here they come. They're looking for me. And all around, they don't know where. So a few things I think that I would improve if I were the developers. Uh, the ability to shoot from a, within a building, like through a window would be interesting. Like if I'm gonna hide in a window, I could pick them off that way and that would make it a little more fair. Uh, decreasing the zombie spawning a bit would also work. I feel like just too many zombies for the little amount of space you have to, to work with. So if you could find that sweet spot, I think it would work better. Um, or, you know, give us a melee weapon. Uh, give us the option that if we try to use a gun and there's no ammo, it just bashes them. That would be good, too. And I'm starting to realize here that I'm never going to be able to outweigh all the zombies. But if I can at least outweigh most of them, then I'm alright. So basically where I'm at now is this. I'm trying to find enough ammo and enough useful shit to justify my guys' trucks into this game. Um, I need more ammo, man. Here comes a horde of them. And we're hiding. I'll deal with terrible smell. I think this thing is... Hopefully, oh my god, look at how many zombies there are. There's so many out there. <laughs> so many! That is a giant group of zombies waiting to kill me. I do not like that at all. Uh, yeah. So, where am I going to next? It seems like a right is my only option, guys, so we gotta wait. These two will be over there. 
Adobe Gillis will be down there. And uh, we're running out of ammo real quick here. We're burning through it. Shit. I don't like those chainsaw ones. I feel like they inherently will do more damage. Let's see. I'm glad I stayed. Look at this. Good god. So they come in waves, these guys do, it seems like. Um. I can't put my finger on what's missing. I feel like this has a ground with the right updates to be a really fun zombie game. Like a very fun zombie game. A good survival game. But, there are some glaring inconsistencies, as I've said, that I don't much care for. For one thing, if the zombie reaches you, you just die. I don't agree with that. I feel like I should be able to at least get a little hand-on-hand -hand combat going, a little something, to help myself survive. Um, I like the game overall. I think if the devs are open to suggestion and keep updating it, we could have a sleeper hit on our hands here. Uh, especially... The art style is quite interesting. Kind of charming. So I am curious as to what the hell they were up to when they were programming these zombie algorithms to be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, insane when it comes down to how many of these little monkeys you get. There's just too many. Too many zombies, man. I know it's a zombie game, but... Quite literally, I should not feel like there's an entire army around every single corner. I should feel like there's a lot of them. I should feel slightly overwhelmed, but should I feel like you're dumping 30 zombies on me uh, out of the gate? No. I do not believe so. Now, you guys can tell me your thoughts on this in the comments, please. Um, I really enjoy the artwork. Um, I think they did a great job on... Again, I'm a retro gamer, so I dig the look of the zombies being retro. And the Jason zombies are pretty funny now, I'm not going to lie. But you can see what I mean here. Uh, about the rest of it. We'll pick her. See, so you definitely can't call me sexist because I'm picking Paper Guy as the last choice because frankly he seems like the weakest link out of all of us and I do not trust him. Now I probably need to wait longer in these cabins. I don't know. Maybe that's my problem. One of money. Ha ha ha. But no, I, uh, that's probably what it is, is I'm not waiting long enough in the cabins. One thing I do want to do is make sure that I'm opening up more of these. Like, clearly, I'm not opening up enough of these. I also um, feel like some visual indicators to let me know for sure what the half and bottom of the area I can explore is, like, I'm so screwed, because this dude is just not leaving. Will he leave? There's a lot of waiting right now, I feel. So you can see what I'm saying. This is a very early... Yeah, see? So this is a very early thing here. Very early uh, access. So some of this stuff will probably be balanced a bit more. Um, I'm at least going to put it in the forums that I, I believe that that's a thing that needs to happen with this. Uh, I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are. A lot of you seem to still love the zombie games. Uh, I like 
unique games. I'm over zombies as a whole, but what caught my eye about this was the unique art style. It had a little humor. It seemed like one that was very easy to pick up, and it is. It's actually quite easy to control. Um, so I do dig that about it, I'm not going to lie. That is a thing that I can give them that I think holds some decent merit, is that it's very, very easy to control, this game. Now we're gonna, we're not. We're gonna try and grab this. Alright. I'm curious to see what happens if I just... Alright, now here comes, like, a zombie, uh, what did I call it? The zombie swarm? Uh... I like the art style. It's kind of got a, a VHS look to it, a little... No, not VHS. More like a old movie, you know what I mean? Like the old 70s, the kind of washed out color, but uh, you like them kind of movies. Like the Vulcan 4, you know. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but if you have not, you really should. Especially if you like Tales from the Crypt. I encourage you all to watch the original Tales from the Crypt movie, along with Vault of Horror, and I believe it is Torture Garden, which I think was supposed to be the, uh, the witch's set of stories that they just changed the name. Um, and if you don't know who either of them are, shame on you if you call yourself a Tales from the Crypt fan. Um, Tales from the Crypt was originally an EC comic. So yeah. Anyways. So that is going to do it for this game. It's called Bad Day. Uh, I will drop a link below. I am Bones. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed. Make sure you give us a like if you have not. How will you do against the zombies? Can you hide? Can you be sneakier than me? I couldn't make it to the car. So I'm curious to see what you would do different. Uh, give me some strategies in the comments below. Give me your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Even recommend me some horror movies. I'm always game for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. And be safe out there.